Joe, if you want to kind of be the point person to that, I think that's really great. Um, and then we could certainly, one of the things we've done at previous meetings is we've taken the flip camera, um, we've pulled people aside, we've just asked them one question, we've recorded that. I think that's really powerful. Like it gives you, even if it's one minute, I, it gives you a sense of like the people in the room, like what they're caring about. People it's are easy not to do. Room, that's right. That's right. And you what? know what? The people love. People love and seeing the people themselves. Who are right. It's so like, easy to do. Too. Right, so easy exactly. to do. Yeah. So I, I love the idea um, <laughs> of, of doing that. The other thing that you brought up, which I think is important, is that we, uh, Kristen, you raised the whole thing about success. Um, and, you know, what we're ultimately talking about in this process is, is a sense of transformation in a way, right? This development of shared understanding of these relationships with other people and what emerges from that. And we haven't talked much about how we measure that. And one, things we, one thing we might want to do is to set up, do an assessment survey up front or come up with other sort of techniques where we, maybe it's not a survey where people are scoring things, but maybe it's just sort of an exploratory kind of, like a set of three questions that we ask people to, to ask and then sort of at the end of the process or at checkpoints in the process, we ask the same three questions yeah. and we can get a qualitative sense of, mm -hmm. of what's changing. It's a great mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea. So Joe, before you go, um, before you go, I just would like to put out there, so I love everything we're talking about so far. I, I mean, I think another positive around having participants either do a blog entry or send you an email that you turn <laughs> into something is it shows it, it shows the world that the participants are really participating. So to me it builds credibility for the process that if you're the only storyteller it, it just doesn't do that as much. So um, but, but what I want to say before you go is I, I don't know that this kind of writing could happen right after a meeting, because it might be too soon to Jeff's point, but my dream about what your storytelling would do at the end of the six months, or maybe it's not published until nine months later, or 12 months later, but in these kinds of meetings, the most magical moments are when somebody changes a 20-year-old assumption. And you like, you see the moment, you see their face, you, you, you hear their, their thought and heart process as that is happening. And, and, and trying to see like, well, what was it in the conversation that enabled it? And it's like, well, this person said that, and then this person added to that, and then this person said, yeah, but what about this? And then you see it. And I, it those moments might be too vulnerable and too precious to share immediately, but if you were able to, to write about some of that, I think that would be such a gift to the world because the world doesn't know what's possible in these kinds of conversations. And just really quick story, my women's circle, we were filmed for two weekends um, doing dialogue and it was supposed to become a PBS special, which never happened, but it did become an hour-long video. I think it sucks. I don't think we captured the dialogue that we get into at all. And it is amazing how many people around the world, men and women, have watched that video and have said, I didn't know people could have that kind of conversation and have been totally inspired by it. So I would love it if the storytelling, maybe not immediately after a meeting, but in six months or nine months, does share those kinds of moments where people are listening so deeply and they actually shift their thinking. Because that's what we don't see in the media. And we don't see that in movies. And that's what the world needs to know. Very good.